add the olive oil to the pan. Then I think we actually use short ribs here in the restaurant. You just get a nice tender cut. It is a little bit more expensive, but you get some nice fat running through the meat and you just get that extra tenderness and extra flavor. And that goes. And what you want to do is just brown all sides. I'm a big fan, even at home, of one pot cooking, to be honest. Let's clean up. <laughs> and usually great flavors, you know. Paellas, or stews, or even risotto dishes. I love making them all in the one dish. So once you get all your meat nicely browned up there, you get a nice sear on it. Got my little, add in my vegetables. I got onions. Celery and carrots. And just saute them up for two, three minutes. Put a little lid on here. And we'll let those go until they're just a tiny little bit tender. Okay, so next what we want to do is we want to Add our potatoes. All right, now we're just going to deglaze the pan with about half that pint of stout. And I'm going to add just enough beef stock, cover all the vegetables and the meat and the potatoes. Add a little bit of parsley. There we go. Reduce it down to a simmer. Pop the cover on. And then in about an hour, we should be good to go. We've added the starch enough to give it a nice thickness to the sauce. If you don't, if you like your stews a little bit thicker, you can always add a little bit of flour to the beef as you're starting to, at the beginning of the cooking stage. There's some nice mashed potatoes over here. Some of the beef in here. A little bit of the sauce. And now, a pint of Guinness and a bowl of stew. It should be good for the week of St. Patty's Day.